there's always been something interesting about forensic science to me. I'm a first generation college student, but I do have an uncle that's a forensic toxicologist. Oh, okay. So I heard a little bit about sure. crime labs and had toured right. crime labs um, as a kid. And it was always just very intriguing. And I mean, as the general public um, has a fascination in serial killers or criminal cases and CSI, mm -hmm. I, I grew up in a time where CSI was huge. So it was also Absolutely. that question, why, and kind of the glamour mm -hmm. that went behind it. Mm -hmm. um, but once I really got to know what was going on, it still really came back to that. I just, if I'm going to spend my 40 plus hours a week, especially as a grad student mm -hmm. in a lab, I want to produce something that people mm -hmm. can use and mm -hmm. use in the next couple of years. Mm -hmm. um, and forensic science provided that for me. Mm -hmm. I've always been fascinated with DNA. I love that double helix. I don't know, something about it is just beautiful. Um, but also my dad always kind of allowed only murder mysteries in my house, which is very weird from a child perspective, now that I think back, but um, okay. <laughs> it led me to where I am today. Um, and so, I don't know, I guess that, and then also with, I guess, media kind of going into the forensics and introducing it to so many people, it just really piqued my interest, and I kind of just pursued that path, and I've never regretted it, and it just is fulfilling and incorporates everything that I love about science. I was exactly 15 years old. I was starting my biology classes at school, so one of my uh, teacher was trying to help us understand science, uh, made us read the magazine, mm -hmm. magazine of science. At first, one of the uh, first paper and article that I found was about fingerprints. And I got so fascinated. So the first thing that I did was uh, using the powder of my mom, of the makeup, to get uh, my fingerprint on the table, on the chair. And I, I really got crazy about it. I really love it. So I said, okay, what they are using this? I was very young to understand all the process. But I got really uh, passionate to that. And so I said, I would like to be one of the person that help to discover and help solving crimes. If I would, would go back probably 20 years ago, um, so when I was like six years old, um, it started really with a cartoon um, uh, that I used to watch, it's called Conan, and that was like a young boy who really can solve any kind of crime scene, and that um, he would go and find evidences and link things together. So it started that way, and I used to binge watch that one. And then when I uh, became a little bit older, I was like, I really want to see real crime scenes. So there was this, uh, this uh, investigation discovery channel um, where they put real crime scenes and how they solve it. And I was like, that's really what I want. 